Officer involved shooting kills one in Madison. Multiple charges after high-speed chase in Manitowoc County. Budget to be reviewed in Sheboygan County tonight. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Tuesday, October 29th, 2019. A high-speed chase in Manitowoc County leads to several charges for a man from Manitowoc. The chase lasted nearly nine miles, and it all started in Two Rivers this past Friday morning at around 9.30. 22-year-old Jacob Hetu had a felony arrest warrant and led police from Two Rivers into the township of Kossuth which is when a Manitowoc County Sheriff's deputy attempted a traffic stop. The suspect then fled once again and was finally stopped in the city of Manitowoc, where he once again resisted arrest near 8th and Waldo Street. Hetu was arrested for fleeing OWI operating with a revoked license and resisting arrest. Officials in Madison are reporting the city's first officer-involved shooting in, of 2019. Just before 10 o'clock Sunday evening, officers were called to a building on Raymond Road for a report of a 63-year-old man firing a weapon outside a building. When officers arrived, the unidentified individual fired in their direction, at which time the officers returned fire and struck the man. Life-saving measures were performed on the scene, but the man was later pronounced dead at the hospital. No officers were injured in the incident. The Department of Justice Division of Criminal Investigation will take over the incident. And the officer involved has not been identified and will be placed on paid administration leave, which is standard for officer-involved shootings. A man is due in court today in connection with a drug overdose death in Manitowoc. 38-year-old Christopher Seafelt was arrested earlier this month and his bond was set at $50,000 cash. He faces a possible charge of second-degree reckless homicide in connection with the death of 49-year-old Troy Duckett. According to court documents, Duckett was found dead in his apartment on Fairmount Lane back in July, and Seafelt later told investigators that he provided Duckett with heroin a few days before his death. Officials say drugs containing fentanyl were also found in Duckett's apartment. A $7.5 million expansion project is underway at Sheboygan Lutheran High School. The school, which is celebrating its 40th anniversary, recently broke ground on the project that will include a worship and fine arts center with a fully equipped 600-seat theatrical auditorium and music practice rooms, a science wing expansion that will provide instructions in robotics and cinematography and expand lab and prep areas. An endowment fund will be established to fund ongoing needs of the new fine arts facilities as well. Those interested in learning more can visit lutheranhigh.com. Parts of Wisconsin could have woken up to snow this morning. A band of mixed precipitation, including snow, will extend across Wisconsin from last night until early today from the southwest to the northwest. Locations including La Crosse, Wausau, Green Bay, and Madison could have snow on the ground by tomorrow morning. The Milwaukee Metro and Southeast Wisconsin look likely to miss out along with much of the Northwest Wisconsin. Overnight temperatures will tonight will reach the mid 20s to upper teens statewide. 
And finally, the county board will hold a public hearing tonight on the county's budget. The budget will be up for review at 6 o'clock p.m. and more than $158 million will be up for review during the hearing, which is open to the public. If approved, the adjustments will appear on your property tax bill that arrives in December. Although increased by over 2.4%, the owner of $100,000 home will be will pay $8 less for the county purposes. The fourth year in a row of decreases and the city's budget meanwhile is also being discussed and is currently in the works. The Committee of the Whole recently recommended that the Common Council pass the next city budget at their next meeting on Monday. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Thursday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV. Thank you.